Hello everyone, I'm Yantun from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at the Duke University. Today I'm going to present you my ongoing work on deep learning for the inverse design of metasurface-based energy materials. First of all, I would like to introduce the concept of metasurface. Metasurface, as shown in the figure here, is an artificial material that has exotic control of electromagnetic properties S from its geometry G. And metasurfaces as energy materials can be typically applied in solar cell applications. In figure A, the light from the sun is focused onto an absorber and the metamaterial of metasurface takes the black body radiation from the absorber and trying to match its emission spectrum as close as to the absorption spectrum of the TPV cell, which will maximize the absorption efficiency of the solar cell. To design such optimized emission spectrum, we need a really complex geometry space, and conventional simulation is impractical due to its long simulation time going from the G to S. However, Deep Neural Network as a data-driven surrogate model is a really great alternative to the conventional simulation. By taking a geometry G, the surrogate model can infer a spectrum S in milliseconds, that is, orders of magnitude faster than the conventional simulation. Furthermore, we can even train the DNN accurately with the ge geometry and spectrum pair. And once it's accurately trained, we fix down the parameters of the DNN and have a target spectrum to refer back to the optimal geometry that we would like to find. And for the current stage of the project, the major bottleneck we found is that the training of deep neural network will still need a initial cost of collecting data set. And uh, the typical simulation time for a geometry on a single GPU is five minutes. From our previous experience, we will need over 50,000 data to get decent loss performance. And uh, to collect all 50,000 data on a single GCPU, it will take si over six months. This is not ideal. So the question really comes down to how can we train an accurate DNN with minimum data set required? The short answer is active learning. Active learning is a special type of machine learning algorithm. It starts with a small pool of labeled data and the surrogate model is trained on the labeled data. Then the model is allowed to active learning query from an unlabeled pool of data to select the most informative data that improves the accuracy or reduce the loss most significantly. And the explaining algorithm typically use two common query strategies. One is uncertainty and the other is diversity. I have included a query by committee, greedy sampling and probabilistic model in my project due to their popularity in the X learning community. In this scope of this project, I'd like also to include a diverse QBC that incorporates both uncertainty and diversity. The preliminary result is on a toy dataset that contains 2,000 data points, 8-dimensional geometry input, and 201 spectrum output. With an average of 5 trials, we can see that greedy sampling does not have a performance difference to the random sampling method. On the other hand, the Curry by committee method really shows a consistent performance advantage over random sampling. In another word, it really suggests that curry by committee can achieve a same MSE as random sampling, but with a less number of training samples. With a good starting point of curry by committee, I'd like to finish developing the diverse curry by committee first, and then carry out a benchmark of three metasurface data sets and all the explaining algorithms I mentioned in previous slides, as well as the random sampling as baseline. There are three main contributions to this work. First, by using metasurface, we are opening up new possibilities for high efficiency solar cell. Second, the explaining accelerates the inverse design of metasurface based energy materials. And third, this is the first benchmark of active learning algorithm for metasurface problems. And this helps the scientific community to continue develop better explaining algorithms for metasurface datasets. Thank you so much.